Playing podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and this week I'm joined by Ian Bruce. Let's uh, move into 2017 then. Uh, I, I was looking at what was coming out. Uh, I think there's a link I put somewhere, which is uh, if you just Google 2017 video games, it comes up with a Wikipedia of uh, what's coming out. Cool. And if you look at the the list of, of, of games that actually have a release date there's not a lot that I'm interested in personally um, I know we've got For Honor coming out possibly even by the time this show goes out that's the Ubisoft hack and slash thing yep. because Vikings and Samurai and stuff is very improbable but uh, is cool I guess um, Matt was playing the uh, beta of that beta sorry English okay. um, of that and said it was good but uh, I I really don't know. The jury's out as far as Ubisoft stuff goes. They do. T- I like that they take some chances, but I also am tired of their formula. You know. Um, who's uh, doing this Horizon Zero Dawn then? Is that Ubi? That's, oh, that's uh, Sony. Sony. Yep. Uh, it's actually Gorilla, who are uh, the guys that do. Uh, oh God, what's it called? It's a PS. The PS Kill, <coughs> Killzone. Uh, Killzone. Yep. That's it. So they're getting to do something that isn't Killzone. That and it does look beautiful. does look beautiful, yes. Um, it's got some 4K stuff for the PS4 Pro that I'm looking looking forward to witnessing if I have a 4K TV by then. I yeah. don't know if I will. Um, but yeah, that's definitely another game that is coming out soon that actually has a release date um, that I'm looking forward to. I think the other... Thing that has just got a release date of the March the 21st is uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, yep. It's kind of a thing with Bioware for me. I will just play them all, but I am not super excited about the idea of massive planets and shit to explore. I I just I just don't know where I'm going to find the time. And Adam is also equally uh, pessimistic about it, which is very surprising <laughs> for him because he spent most of a decade playing Mass Effect games, yeah. almost exclusively. So, uh, yeah, I was a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit on the shelf about that, but, you know, if it gets good reviews, which it probably will do, because it has to, uh, I'll probably end up playing it. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, so it's all a bit uh, sketchy in terms of release dates, but there are some, f- uh, I think Prey is supposed to have a uh, a release of spring yeah but there's no nothing set in stone uh i'm hoping it's not too near mass effect because i will be torn uh with those two yeah of course red dead redemption 2 is out um at the end of the year i'm glad i have a ps4 to play it on uh yeah. i don't know definitely they've not gonna announced have anything for me, pc yeah gonna have one by then yeah they're <sighs> quite cheap now i think you can get one for like 150 quid like just a basic PS4. You can get um, one with Uncharted you know, 4 for 200 um, until Dawn was on sale for like 12 quid or something on uh, yeah, which are, the game store. Yeah, which are, which are two games that are worth having a PS4 to play, so that's yeah. that's a great yeah, deal. Yeah. If you, I'm just if trying you, to be a cheapskate with waiting for it to be cheap as it can be. Fair dues. Um, um, yeah, apart, I mean, apart from the ones you mentioned, you? though, uh, the only one that I'm really excited, genuinely, and not just in a believing the marketing shit, uh, is <laughs> the next Rising Storm, where they're going to Vietnam and throwing some vehicles in. Um, oh, that's cool. Yeah, the, the notion of being underneath napalm while somebody, while a player drops it on me is, you know, a personal goal of mine, of course, but... <clears throat> <laughs> uh, this, there was some gameplay footage released a couple of weeks ago where random tubers had got together and played it, and it looked good. So it looked more of the same. So that's good enough for me. Uh, apart from that, the uh, the 
looked that Sony game we were just talking about. Fucking beyond Horizon. Horizon. That the gameplay looks hilarious in a cool kind of way. Um, yeah, there's a bit of the Colossus going on there, and also uh, a bit of sort of uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, yeah. It, it, it seems like a good mashup of of things. Yeah. But, um, but the Last Guardian looked quite... like that, so I might wait for you, for example, to have said it's the best game ever before I get it, instead of fucking <laughs> controller issues. Argh. Yeah. Yeah, it, it was the best game ever with huge caveats. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, certainly, <laughs> like uh, c- caution, <laughs> advisory. You yeah. Know. Um, I'm hoping that Kingdom Come Deliverance finally makes its way to reality this year um that's a crowdfunded game from the guys behind uh like mafia and stuff i think um but yeah it's like a it's like a skyrim but without magic and all that fantasy nonsense it's like a medieval rpg with some like really cool looking uh uh melee combat systems and uh like locations based on real places lots of uh, mm-hmm. photogrammetry i think they use to to recreate it um so i'm looking forward to that one if it actually does come out this year they've i mean because they were kickstarted yeah. it was like it's kind of up to them when it comes out really so uh we could we could mention another game that <laughs> no don't do it just don't do it out. why would you do it to yourself <laughs> it's just not it's not coming out though is it this year well the fps side <laughs> when, of it did, came out a couple of weeks start? ago I don't know. When did they start doing that? Was it 2012? Middle Ages? I have, I have no idea. <laughs> um, State of I'm, Decay I mean, I'm 2. I'm not surprised it's taking this long. Sorry? State of Decay 2, the zombie resource gathering oh, yeah. thing. Um, oh, I love the first one. Yeah, me too. I was playing a bit of that over the, Chris, over the Christmas period. Uh, but it, the new one adds co-op, so I'm absolutely oh, up for yeah. that. Um, That's literally the only thing that game was missing. Was co-op. Yes. And uh, Radders and I have just started playing Azaris New Dawn, which is like Ark in space. Um, and oh, I, cool. uh, I th- I'm finding it pretty good to, uh, you know, be, be managing an area. Um, so we'll pop in and do a bit and then leave a message saying what we've done and the other guy will come in when he can and he'll do stuff. And uh, it's like we're building oh, stuff. Oh, that's cool. Instead of just shooting shit it's in like the face. Ace. <clears throat> yeah, it's actually like a project. I think that's what hooked everyone in with Ark, wasn't it? And that's yeah, why absolutely. that did so yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh what else have I got here? There's there's not a lot actually, and I'm kind of relieved in a way cuz I spent so much of I mean, there's I still haven't got to stuff from this year. I mean, I'm like I'm looking forward to playing Watch Dogs 2, you know? Uh things like that. I I'm really <laughs> enjoying that. So yeah, get it. Give it a go. Yeah, I've heard I've heard it's good. Um there's a Call of Cthulhu game coming out. I know there's a couple in development, but uh one of those might be nice. Vampire uh, as well. Yeah, mm. yeah, vampire, vampire or however you want to say it. Yeah. Um uh Pyre, the latest game from uh the guys that made Bastion and uh Transistor, although I have to say I didn't really like Transistor. I I I okay. lost my rag with that game completely. Um, started off really well, but I just could not be asked with the mechanics. It was just too much a- aggravation. Um, <laughs> people are saying good things about Conan Exiles. This is this is a new yeah, survival that right. game that's that just, looks... it's in early access at the moment, but yeah. uh, might be good. Uh, what else is there? I mean, there's some stuff later on in the year. I mean, there was stuff that Sony dropped over at their thing but I, I I think a lot of that stuff was shareholder pleasing stuff that isn't coming out any time soon um, Last of Us 2 and stuff that that was all announced um, yeah which will be awesome year, Last undoubtedly of Us 2? because it's uh, is that no, Last of Us 2 this year? no that and God of War 2 and they've also got a zombie game yeah. uh <laughs> which I've forgotten the name of now, but had hordes and hordes of zombies. Uh, oh, the one where he's on the roof. Some yeah, yeah. Yeah, which that looks looks cool awesome. as fuck. That looks but awesome, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just, I don't think that that's this year, uh, to be honest. Okay. That's fair enough. Um, but yeah, hardware-wise, um, I, d- I, I don't know if we'll see any more VR tech. I think this is the year of them putting out 
good games I think, for, for that stuff. Uh, what, you mean new headsets? Yeah. We, we all, uh, Microsoft Hold on, uh, VR headsets will be this year, I think. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're doing their sort of um, VHS, aren't they, with it, and just letting lots of people make them or something, is that right? Um, I think that's a way of looking at it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> Well, the thing is as well, like, I mean, I went, I, I went to the petrol station on the way to work the other day and there was a VR headset that I could buy for £99. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck is that? Was it was it Gear VR or was it some Not, cheap, no, shitty, it was just, plastic uh, Google cardboard? a virtual reality headset. <laughs> for £99? Fucking hell. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like, what is that going to do? <clears throat> Put your phone in it and, yeah, uh, yeah see how you get on. <laughs> No, I'm looking through this. There is not a lot, actually, that's coming out in 2017. Tacoma, that's the follow-up from the guys that did uh, Gone Home, but in space. Right. Yep. Uh, that's that's another one. Um, but I am, I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the end of this list now, and there's just not a lot jumping out at me. It's so, time to work your way through your list of shame. I think it might be a... Yeah, it, it's like going to be the year of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Get on your backlog and just enjoy what exists <laughs> just now. Just be ashamed. I think. <laughs> or spend yeah. all your money on a VR headset. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I think um, I think that's it. I'm running out of steam now. Maybe Wildlands, <laughs> um, the Ghost Recon. Oh, the Ghost Recon thing. type thing. That might be a laugh. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. If it's in a sale, it just seems so incredibly generic. Like... He, yeah. It was like made in a lab, sort of come up with this idea. Like. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've got these bits left over um, from this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But um, what what um, what were you mostly playing over Christmas? Did you like we that, uh, that if I'm honest, survival it, it game? Was probably Watch Dogs Two. Um, really? Yeah. Only bit. I, I was trying to. I very quickly realised that I could just drive around and do stuff. So there was a lot of. Well, I know the main mission's over there, but I'm just going to go over here and just relax and drive around and pick some people up, be an Uber for a while, um, climb some shit and find some bits and deploy my little roving robot to try and get some stuff done. Cool. Um, I, I, having no technical issues with it at all, running it maxed out uh, with only motion blur turned off, and it looks chuffing amazing. Um, cool. I like oh, the that's, world. that's reassuring. The world feels populated and like it has real people in it. Um, I've turned off the PvE, PvP stuff, but I've still got PvE enabled, so randoms will pop in and we'll go and do a co-op mission once in a while. Um, and it, it feels like a better version of the original. Um, it, it, seemed, it feels more polished. So, yeah, enjoying that. Dishonored 2 was, is okay. Uh, I need to spend more time with that. Yeah, at, um, likewise. Um, I mean, it could very well end up being a game that I regret not putting in my top five because I do love those kinds of games. Um, yeah. But I just I just haven't had the time to spend with it. So oh, That's all right. Um, also got Infinite Warfare, which I was I surprised myself that I got that. Did try the multiplayer. I, I, pick- I got it initially because I thought multiplayer... Oh, you know, it's Call of Duty. That used to be good. And that remains what it, it's the case for me. It used to be good. Found the multiplayer hideous. However, the single player, wow, fucking gripped within the first ten minutes as well. Excellent, uh, really. Yeah, I picked that up. F- full on shit. Yeah, yeah, you said. Yeah, you said. It was like eleven quid. <laughs> I was like, I'll go on then. I uh, mostly on account of the demo I saw at E3, and I yeah. was just like, yeah, I'll give that a go. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's. I don't know. Is there any co-op stuff in that? Um, there's a zombie. There's a horde zombie mode thing, which is just. You might as well play Left 4 Dead. Um, yeah. And the multiplayer is so... If you if you didn't get it on day one and you didn't dedicate the next eight weeks to it, you might as well not be playing. Yeah, yeah. Which is um, fine. That's I, okay. I, I forgot to mention... Go on. Sorry. I forgot to mention Titanfall 2. Um, I, I was going to lead on to that because you got that for the single player, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. And I'm enjoying it. It's very cool in a jumpy about type way. It's very, it's quite old fashioned. Remind me quite a bit of Half Life. But you've got the 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 synergy of using the uh, robot and also 
being able to do some cool stuff when you're not in the robot. Yeah. Uh, all the different loadouts and stuff. Have you, did you did you pick it up at all? Um, I played. There's a there was a multiplayer trial that I played. Um, it just felt like the first oh, yeah. one, to be honest. Which is better than <laughs> yeah. I had heard it was going to be. But I was just. Mm, I, I have, there's other games I want to play. So yeah, I, I mean, as a purely multiplayer proposition, it's kind of not really worth i don't know what that would bring to the table from like other than what's in the first game yeah. but as as a as an exercise in bringing those mechanics into a single player game it's massively awesome like there's some cool like i mean and they go beyond that as well there's other things that they just wouldn't be able to do in a in yeah. a multiplayer context so they really yeah. it really has value i think and i think that's why it's it's made it onto a lot of lists if perhaps not on the best seller list. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just an unfortunate victim of some absolute meat headed uh like release strategy. What the fuck were EA <laughs> thinking, honestly? Like yeah, let's like, like let's compete with Activision and ourselves. <laughs> Fucking idiots. Oh well. well um, good for them. So hopefully there's hopefully like there's some DLC or something to put it back on the map. And and now would be a great time to put that game out. Like there's nothing coming out for yeah. like until Horizon or For Honor and stuff. So yeah, like why have they let Ubisoft and Sony just have this quarter? It's just ridiculous. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> but um okay. Yeah, uh I don't know if there was much else to mention. Um Oh yeah, one thing I just wanted to quickly bring up while we're on just because uh, we're talking about video games, I saw a video game based movie the other day. <laughs> Can you guess what it was? Was it Assassin's Creed? <laughs> Certainly was. Um, I just had some. We're crossing into not watching territory here, but I just wanted to quickly mention it. It's, I'm probably not going to mention it on the other one. Um, it. The problem I have with the film is that. Basically, the reason I like those games is because they all take place in a sort of foreign setting, and that's where the game takes place. Yeah. There's this stuff going on in the modern day that is like a a sort of uh, narrative connectiveness between games, but all of the plot stuff happens in the present day. That's where most of the film is, and they go back to oldie world. It's Spain. Spanish Revolution time. Hmm. They go back there to do the actiony bits, which are quite cool and very well shot. The director was the guy who did Macbeth, um, and that's all very cool. But they've just doubled down on all the ab- Apple, uh, Adam and Eve bollocks, and it's just like <laughs> it's just like oh uh, what? <clears throat> it's like they're having another run at that material that they stretched over like multiple games. Yeah. And uh, everyone in it is great. Fassbender's great. Uh, Marion Cotillard, uh, Jeremy Irons is, you know, I mean, you could say they're maybe phoning it in a bit, but they are, they're all cool. Uh, there's some excellent, uh, oh, Michael K. Williams is in it being awesome, even though the material he's got to do isn't very good. So, I mean, if you put, look at it on paper, you're like, how can this fail? Uh, but it does. <laughs> I probably won't see it now you've said that but i am uh a, f- a guy that i work with uh did the lidar scanning for it and he's posted What's today that? that he's it's uh it's like a laser scanning of objects that you can then create models from for cg and stuff oh, okay and his his name's in the credits of the movie which he's posted on facebook today so good for him uh yeah that's cool yeah I'm not sure he, he did stuff on Rogue One as well, but I don't know if he was in the credits for that. Um, okay. Now, I, I have to say, I have to say, it's not uh, an entirely unenjoyable film. It just got to that point, like I get to in all the games, where I'm like, uh, I don't think I'm either stupid or this game doesn't make any sense. Um, <laughs> and it got to that point in the film as well, but. <laughs> I won't say the process of watching it was entirely unenjoyable. There were little nods and winks to that reminded me what the film is based on, and I enjoyed that in the same way that I enjoyed Warcraft hmm. last year, surprisingly. Um, and uh, I would say if you're a big fan of the mo- of the games, you'll you'll probably get something out of it. But there's absolutely no other point in this film existing. You know, it's not going to bring anyone into the fold. I don't think. 
It's not going to no. be like, oh, I must play that game that is just like that film that's okay. You know, yeah. it just reminded me of how good an action movie the game can be at times, um, which I just don't. I just find the whole idea of movies based on games a bit redundant, to be honest. It's just like, well, that was all sounded a bit bitter, didn't it? <laughs> I just think it's it's like. It's all just a big exercise in brand promotion at the end of the day, yeah. because so many games are just um, based on movies moments anyway. Uh, you know, the whole, like, I mean, especially a lot of stuff on PlayStation, it's like trying to bring that movie moment to life so that you can actually control <laughs> it. So the idea of doing it the other way around just seems pointless to me. It's just like, uh, great. I'd rather just play the game. I don't know. Well, then with that bombshell, that's fair yeah. Enough. I think we'll, we'll call it. We'll call it there. <laughs> Happy 2017, everyone. <laughs> yes. I hope it's a good one for y'all. Yeah, the year of um, uh, what, what did Jim Sterling call it? The year of cons of uh, repercussions. <laughs> Sorry, the year of what? Repercussions. No, you're gonna have to. T- so if 2016, if if some shit happened in 2016 that was not very good, this is the year we actually get to realise how very not very good it was. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! Great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, I think that would do. This has been the Not Playing Podcast in partnership with notlistening.co.uk where you can also hear myself, Marcus and Ian talk about movies and TV on the Not Watching Podcast and Adam, Ash and Will talk about all manner of funny things on the Not Listening Podcast. You can email us at notplayingpodcast at gmail.com or you can tweet out or follow us on Twitter at notplayingpod. You can find the show notes for this show at notlistening.co.uk. And if you're listening to us on iTunes, then please do give us a review. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. See ya. No booty. My friend, I'm in blood to agree because I suck. I suck at Call of Duty. There's no hope for me. I suck at Call of Duty. I suck at Call of Duty. Um, what? what else have we got here? Excuse <laughs> me, sorry. <laughs> little that bit of editing to be done there. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Um, 